Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can chain PowerShell commands on one line. So stay tuned. I often get the question from people, um, Thomas, PowerShell is great. Uh, how can I, for example, chain multiple PowerShell commands on one line? Because probably they want to optimize the command if they copy paste it and send it to a user who is not that familiar with the shell, like an end user or something to make it very simple for them to just copy that li line, like that command. Um, and then just hit enter, for example, um, or even for their own workflow. So one liners can obviously in some cases be very powerful and very usable. Uh, and in this video, I'm quickly want to show you how you can actually uh, leverage these, um, uh, the different ways you can leverage these within PowerShell. Now, the first one really, if you're familiar with PowerShell, you know about the pipeline, right? So what I can do in PowerShell is I can run a command and then I can use a pipeline operator to actually um, transfer the object output from the first command to a second command. So that can be very helpful if I do certain things uh, like I'm going to show you right now. So for example, what I can do is I can say, get me process, which is in my case, notepad. So obviously I get, if I just run this command, I get the information that the rope, no, uh, notepad is existing, it's running and get some additional information. As you can see here, I'll only get the notepad process. So if I would go back and list all processes, it would give me all of them. But what I want to do, I just want to have the notepad, notepad process here. And now I can interact with this. So I could go out and say, okay, let's just, stop that notepad process by um, using the pipeline and then the stop process command. So in this case, it will get all the processes, which are called notepad, and then send that object to the next command, which is then stopping the process. So here, for example, I have notepad open to make this a little bit more visible. Uh, you also trust me, I can just put it here. And now you will see in the background, if I run this command, this will close notepad. So this is really powerful um, if you are actually working with like chaining commands, which are related to each other, right? So again, I take the, the, the notepad, like the process, uh, which is notepad, and then I close that or stop that process. So super powerful uh, when it comes to that. However, in some cases, you really want to, for example, um, run a command uh, which are probably unrelated to each other, right? Um, which do not really matter, but you still want to run them on the same line. In that sense, there's no object you want to transfer to the second command. So what you can do here is, for example, let's let's go again and get process, or let's start. Let's first start Notepad again, just so we have it running in the background. So what I want to do is again get process. In this case, Notepad. So again, I can list that. Now, completely unrelated to this, I also want to open a web page, but just running a single line. So what I can do is here, for example, I can go and say, start thomasmauer.ch. And now what will happen it, it will just basically get me that process and start that command. So it will open up uh, my web page here. So again, very great. Uh, tool to do this. So um, I can chain co different commands. I can even combine these. So for example, if I want to say, hey, I don't just want to list notepad. I actually really want to like stop that process as I did before. In addition, then it should also open the web page. And again, this will open the web page uh, in any case, right? So even if there would be no notepad running or closed, uh, it will open up the web page. So if I run this again, you could see that it opens up the web page again, and you can also see that Notepad is now closed. Now, this again is a way super easy. So you can basically add as many as you want 
uh, behind each other and chain the different commands uh, together. You can combine pipelines and using also that uh, that command to actually um, uh, put this together. Now, what is pretty cool is what we have with PowerShell 7 is called the chain operators, right? So this is, uh, this is something uh, implemented in PowerShell 7 or higher. And so what we can do here is we can do um, kind of like see kind of like simple if uh, statements if you will so if something is the way it is do this if it's not like the, don't do it right don't run the second command uh, and also the other way around so do something if that is true then run the second command um, so this is like something where you can make certain decisions uh, um, on that so for example what we can do is we can do a get notepad um, so at the moment there's no notepad process so what I can do here is I can say okay get notepad and then do the same command here let's say start um, and open a website oops so now what I'm doing it's, it looks similar like what I did before However, what will happen here is because notepad is not running, it will also not run the second command. You can see here, it says, well, notepad is not here. Um, so what now? So I can start notepad. So what happens if I now run the command, the same command here, if I say, okay, I wanna get the notepad process, then basically start open up the website. So I can say, okay, if the notepad, notepad process is running, I want that, this website is opening up. So you can see here now, because Notepad is running, you can now see here um, that it opens up the website. So that is that is pretty cool. Um, what you also can do is um, obviously the opposite. So if I want to have like get um, process, uh, again, we take Notepad, and then let's say start, notepad right oops start process notepad so what happens now is well, we will look if the notepad process exists if it doesn't exist then run the second command which is start process notepad so let me have a quick look here so if i run this it will just give me okay notepad is running um and doesn't really start notepad anyway because it's already running makes sense right in this sense now let's just close notepad here and run the same command again and you will see it will open up notepad so the second command was run um, and you can see here with the first command it gives me the error so it ran the first command says well notepad is not existing so therefore I run the second um, command in that chain uh, for notepad so again very powerful tools you can leverage uh, in PowerShell, like these different chain operators. Again, this is something, um, the second part here of these new chain operators are available in PowerShell 7 or higher. And then we also have the other ways, like the pipeline, for example, where we can transfer one output object to the next command, or then there's just like, like chain different commands, completely unrelated commands together, and they will all run, doesn't matter if the first one was successful or not. Um, so there are many different ways you can actually leverage that. So I hope this video was helpful and gave you an idea of the different ways how you can chain command, PowerShell commands on a single line. Um, and if you liked that video, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and hopefully see you in the next one.